let's attempt to get the other side done the same way. Vice grips on the nut. I'm not even going to try loosening it. Well, actually, I need to go here. We don't want to be grinding that down into the ground. That broke loose, and we gotta turn it over. We're gonna be facing down and start counting these out. One, two, three, 13, 14, 15, and a little more. So this rack was centered to start with, which is good considering I just found out this was a junkyard rack. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Start right here. Is one, two, three, 13, 14, 15. And we're gonna set that down in. Nice to make sure everything's nice and clean first. that down in, put the nut on it. Now let's see if maybe I can get lucky enough to just spin that right up in there. it to the next little spot we're gonna put the key in with the cotter pin. Nice and tight. And get all of those rest of those bolts torqued down and get the lines put in. Double check my jack stands, make sure this thing isn't gonna go anywhere while I'm laying underneath it. And we can get up in here now and remove these little plugs. Actually, I'll leave the top one in for now. Because we're gonna do the bottom one first. We got the brand new O-ring, one of the brand new O-rings in my fingers. I'm going to put a little bit of silicone grease on it. and help facilitate sliding it into the rack. And the line, which is hanging down underneath over here. This line right here. And I'm going to put a new O-ring on the end of it. Make sure my fingers are all clean. This is the one that's got the big knot on it. I'm going to just put that little O-ring right over here on the end. Probably going to take two hands to do this. Yeah, a little blue O-ring and a little O-ring. 
plugs in place. Now we can go and put the, oh man, that fitting is going to be a little bit of a stinker because the nut's stuck on the tubing. Now we got to get in there with, I believe that was the 18 millimeter. I think that was a 17 that we did that with. Uh, where did I get the 17 from? Now that I've got all of that spinning nice and easily, let's get this line work back up to where it belongs. And I can get that started in there. So when you find the right spot, it just spins nice and easy. All right, that's in. And now, we got to get the other line in place. This line's got to go from here to over there. So, and yeah, we got a hose clamp on it too. I got to get this. Let's see, how's the easiest way we're going to do this? So here, you don't want to get that brand spanking new O-ring all dirty. cap that's remaining out. It's lying over here out of the way. Last blue cap out. Alright, I finally found a spot where it fit. Alright, now try to get this. It belongs. Alright. Now, I got these little rubber pieces. Go around the tubing. Now we can put this top part in. This one here. It's supposed to go right in there. Now we gotta get up here and get these. Dang bolts tight. Nuts. Start with the bottom one. Now we'll get that little mount straightened out. This little mount right here. Make sure that's straight. tight. This battery's going to be dead before I get this bolt tight. Uh, this ratchet needs some overhauling. Uh, 
that's tight. Tear a hole in my finger. All right, let's see if we can get that tightened down from out there. Oh, that's not in a nice spot. that I was tightening that down with. hoses are in place. Let's get this last one hooked up. Just got to get that tightened up. I am not going to put this back over the exact same spot that it was. Because as you remember, the end is all the way up here. We don't need to be on the end down here. We're going to come back up this way with it. Right here. And let me get in there. Get right around you. And get that tightened up. We're going to go in here with some massive overkill. I can find my other wrench. Why is it that I keep losing my wrenches even when they're right under my nose? Did you guys see where my half inch drive went? I knew one of you guys would remember where that was. Now let's just get in here. Let's get that tightened up. Good, anything more than that, it'll probably break the hose clamp. And I don't want to do that. Now, the only issue that I have with this is that that hose literally hits the steering rack. So, I'm going to figure out why that's so far back there. It's all bent up around the frame up here. There we go. Now it's no longer hitting the rack. Somebody replaced that hose or tubing or something with something other than what was supposed to be in there. But, oh, that's right too, because they eliminated the uh, steering cooler on this. Yeah, that's the way things work around here. You can't afford to replace the part, eliminate it. Yeah, no big deal if you're doing little short trips, but if you drive a 
couple of hours, your power steering will overheat and it will provoke a very fast failure. Well, that was a 19. And here. the head is turning. Don't think I can use the double wrench method on that, but worth a try. I'm trying to see where you guys can get a view and get this done. It's the hardest part about this is recording it for you guys. You don't want to crush the daylights out of these. Uh, it's definitely tight enough where it's not coming back off on its own. This side is all done. Now let's go do the other side. And we're going to go back underneath and make sure that those uh, fittings into the rack from the lines are also snug top and bottom. Before I go any further, take care of that right now because well I might just forget so let's get up here make sure these are all tight now these do not get torqued down he's got an o-ring in them so all we do is make these snug That one's all set. Yay. Now let's get this bolt on the other side tightened down. And we're all done underneath the car. Yay. That's tight. That one's tight. That's tight. Shield good. Yep, yeah, we are all set tight down that other bolt. And then we're all done underneath. Can we get you at an angle where you can see this from somewhere else, maybe? Yeah, that right there should work. motor mount squared away. Ooh, 
good old fashioned pliers will do just fine. Go ahead and get our sway bar links back in place. I'm going to actually hit these with a wire brush real quick before I try to put them on and make it a lot easier. Now, wire brush, threads a little bit, clean them up, give them a little shot of a penetrating oil just to help lubricate, get the nut on a little bit easier. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, cool. Get up here. Wow, I'm really having a hard time with getting the nuts on today. There we go. And go ahead and spin that right on. And grab my 17 millimeter wrench. Use the socket probably just as easy. Make sure it's nice and tight. Yep. All right. Let's go get the sway bar link on the other side done. And same thing over on this side. And it doesn't spin all the way on all that easily. So we'll wire brush that. Give that a little spritz. Good enough. Put that into place. And we'll give, eh, I don't even need to buzz that down. That tightens right up so nice and easily. Put the wheels on. Valvoline Dextron uses Dextron 3. We'll try to pour this down in there. It's to the point where it's about full. And then we'll rock the steering wheel back and forth a few times so that we can get that level to go down. side and just keep an eye over there and all the way back and just keep an eye on your fluid level uh, and back up see it came right up to the top and go back the other way don't get going too fast with it or you'll Spurt the fluid all over the place and repeat and refill and repeat and refill and do that a few times and it'll get your fluid to uh, start to level off and stay right up in here and the next step is going to be to start the car and run a couple of cycles lock to lock work it down in but we have to figure out why the battery's flat dead so we're going to need to jump start this and then go from there.
exhaust doesn't sound too good. We're all back together. Everything's happy. Let's get these jack stands out of here. Fluid level's okay. Make sure there's no leaks. Stuff on our ears is wet, it's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. Well, in there looks wet. Wow, that comes off real close. this thing off the jack stands. It's up to system voltage. We'll let the gas back off. It's dropping down below system voltage. So that battery's probably shot. thing back and figure out what happened. In here, that bolt out. Again, we're going to need to keep this bolt for the other shaft. Now if you have a hard time getting this up off of here, you can strike the bottom edge of this from down below. You know, get down below the car here, come up, strike on this, and push it upward. Get up 
underneath here. And let's see, there's our yoke. We're gonna have to come up here. Can't really see it, but there's a bolt right up here. Yeah, see if I can get my finger coordinated here. There's a bolt right there. We're gonna have to take that bolt out, slide this down, and then we're gonna have to loosen up that clamp right there, take that out, and lift this whole shaft right up and out. And there really is no easy way to get up in here to show you guys this stuff, but I get this bolt out. I already loosened it up. Take this bolt out. We're going to need to cape it for the other one. Get that one already loosened up. A little rubber spot right there to hold it. Let me slide this up. That opens to the outside of the vehicle. Grab a hold of this whole shaft. Pull it off the column. Maybe. Let's see if I can get this off of here. There we go. It's off. Now, grab the whole thing. Pull the whole intermediate shaft out. And we'll see if we can demonstrate what's going on here. Okay, this is the inside. Turns back and forth nice and easy. That's all nice and easy. Okay, the other side. See, that's, that's a little stiff. All right, this way, that's all it wants to move. So this is why the steering wheel did that nasty little trick to us. All right, now making absolutely sure this is our new one. We've already sized it up, compared it, made sure everything on here is the same size and works the same way and everything else. We're gonna go ahead and drop this down in now. I wanna remember the orientation of these bolts as we took it out so that we can get back at it. So it's gonna be pretty similar to this right here. Cause that one was up on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and put this back in now. Yeah, the little sleeve drops right down in there. Now we can go ahead and pull this up. Get it up onto the shaft. That was really easy, but I don't think that's the right spot. I think the right spot was right there. Almost right there. Double checking again, make sure the steering wheel is still centered. The little bungee cord hasn't gone anywhere.
much better. Much better. Nice and smooth. Much better. Right, let's get it turned around, get it back to the customer. Uh, the intermediate shaft has been replaced. Uh, if you guys like this one, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. One and three quarters, and it stops. Come all the way back to center again. Oops, right there. Right, right there. And now we're going to go. We did that direction, didn't we? Take two.